So, are you tired of our winter weather yet? If you are, we have a sign of spring just for you. Take a look. This robin spotted in Cedar Rapids today. A number of Fox 28 viewers say they are starting to see them more often, and that's led to a few questions about birds surviving the winter. Fox 28's Gabe Erickson is live in Cedar Rapids with a lesson on wildlife science. Professor Gabe. <laughs> well, I pursued this story after a Facebook fan asked about it, and the story just took flight from there. I mean, they had a point. If I could barely stomach this cold, how must a bird feel? It sounds like any spring day out there. The songbirds singing, others chirping, until you notice the white stuff and that your hands are freezing. And you may wonder, if I'm this cold, how do the birds do it? Here with the word is Neil Bernstein. They have live through these conditions for many, many thousands of years. It turns out most birds around here all have three basic things they do to survive in the cold. Whether they know they're doing them or not, the first is finding ways to get out of the cold. Then there's insulation. Birds have a built-in down coat. So underneath the feathers that make up the outside of the body, there's thick layers of very, very fine feathers that trap warm air close to their body. Neil says the down coat is so effective, birds in the water don't even know they're wet. They also have an interesting blood flow to their feet. I mean, how do those skinny legs not get cold? Simply put, the blood warms itself as it runs up the leg into the body, keeping the bird itself warm even though its legs can be as cold as the air around it. If the foot is as cold as the surrounding environment, it's not necessarily going to freeze. So in other words, it's, it's like putting two ice cubes next to each other. All right, it's time to clear up some myths here about those signs of spring that we talked about. It turns out that most robins and red-winged blackbirds migrate south for the winter, but not all of them will, which means a lot of you have seen some of them around anyway. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Gabe Erickson, Fox 28 News at 9.